What's good everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to use SSL loopback to record the audio from Studio One to OBS and then you can use it to edit your video or post it on YouTube or on TikTok or wherever you want right so uh, I made similar video for Cubase and I've got requests for Studio One as well so let's do that in order for you to uh, enable that function, the loopback function, you have to go to the SSL's website. Just type SSL loopback. And this is the first link that you will get and just click on it. Now you go to this page, you have to scroll down and you have to install both of these link. So the first one is the audio firmware updater. The other one is the audio driver which is for only for windows okay i think this is not necessary for mac os you can see the instruction here for mac os and for the windows is here okay so so just go and check it out all right so once you have download and installed those update you have you can actually go to studio one okay and go to the mixer window mix console window and then you have um, actually I have this listen bus enabled but if you don't want a listen bus you can go here to the main output then you click on it and you have these two options here one is output 1 plus 2 the other one output 3 and 4 okay so you have to go to the so you can select either output 1 plus 2 or output 3 plus 4 you can do it in main output but I like to do it in the listen bus because then when I turn on the metronome it will record as well which is why I use this listen bus now let's go to OBS now here we have to do a certain settings here so one of it is um, you have to right click on it go to add add audio input add audio input capture right you can name them look back have this so I'm going to click cancel so once that is added you have to go to settings here and go to output and go to recording and you have to enable two audio tracks one is for your vocal the other one is to record the sound or the output from studio one okay so once that's done you have to go to the look back option here just click on this three dot go to properties and make sure that the loopback is selected right if it's not selected you will not hear the audio coming from studio one to OBS so make sure to select the correct device once that's done click on this again go to advanced audio properties okay now I want to make sure that my mic and the studio one audio is not mixed up okay so if you see here in loop back I have this loop back here and the track the first audio track is actually going to be the audio coming from studio one and then the mic see the mic slash aux the one that I'm talking to right now this is actually going to go to track number two so both of them are separated for a reason because I don't want to mix them and yeah you have to make sure you have selected this and close them and then let's go to studio one I'm gonna add an instrument let's see what we have let's go to my tie yeah I'm gonna enable okay, now we can hear the sound is coming I can see that input level here let's go to OBS and see if the sound is coming so the sound is coming through here I can see that the level is going up and down so that is how you enable the loopback function with SSL 2 plus from studio 1 to OBS you can record I hope you find this video helpful if you guys did please make sure to subscribe turn on notification share this video and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video